is the book of Matthew, chapter 24. <clears throat> It reads, I'm going to start at verse 8 and skip to verse 12. Matthew 8, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 8, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Jump into verse 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Verse 13, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Let's start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to call Loyam La Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem. Double honors to my apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, teaching do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so. Now more so than ever, Shalom to the Akwath, as well as the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edified. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad. In the land of other nations, which appear like the other nations, but whom subscribe to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. And this is the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church. Fellow servant, come at you with another lesson through the spirit, through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And basically, um I'm across this oh um I'm doing this lesson on um an article I saw um Basically on um, an article I saw on my, uh, my um, Newsbreak app in regards to um, an individual and his um, his family that were recently just um, judged, and it's just going into the times that we're in, you know how. Um, because iniquity, meaning the sin, is um, compounding sin upon sin. Um, the love of many, meaning um, man is not going to have pity on his neighbor in the last days. And in scriptures that go into that, showing that this was prophesied to be like this, you know. That's why they talk about um, there's a lot of violence in the earth. Even when you go in the book of Genesis, it talks about um, there was a lot of violence. And, you know, although, you know, the flood was the first death, second death will be by those ICBMs it will be a flood of those nuclear missiles so um I'm gonna come out with this uh, a little bit of this article trying to call law you might but you know call law you might but you know about him her hugged us with that call law you might but you know about him her hugged us with that to worry about you know about him her hugged us with that so that spiritual number um so maybe through the spirit, the Lord wanted this to come out. So um, this is dated October 5th, yesterday. California family kidnapped on Monday, found dead, Sheriff says. So this is a whole family, um, a family of, I believe, four. Four members of a California family, including an eight-month-old girl, were found dead in a rural area on Wednesday after they were abducted in the city of Merced, Merced, Merced on Monday, authorities said. The victims were identified as the baby as the baby of uh, Arohi Tahiri, who was abducted along with her mother, Jaslyn Karu, her father, Jasdeep Singh, and the baby's uncle, Amadeep Singh. So I don't know if these might be Elamites. Police say, you know, they look like they could be um, Northern Kingdom, but that those names sound like Elamite names. I mean, Salaki Elam, Elamite names which will be considered the East Indians. Police say the four were abducted on Monday morning from the family's trucking company in Merced, about 150 miles east of San Jose. Tonight, our worst fears have been confirmed. We found the four people from the kidnapping, and they are, in fact, deceased. Merced County Sheriff Vernon Warnick, Warnick said in a media briefing describing the incident as horribly senseless. Warnick said that the motivation for the crime was not not known yet, adding that they were alerted by a farm worker. Authorities in Merced County said Jesus Manuel Salgado, 48, was a suspect in the family's death and was in custody. Now, Salgado sounds like a Northern Kingdom name. It might be Ephraim or uh, Issachar, who was hospitalized. They were attempting to speak with Salgado, who was hospitalized after trying to kill himself before being taken into custody to determine whether another person was involved 
Warren Key had said during a news conference on Wednesday morning. We are devastated. We are shocked. We are dying every moment. A relative who gave only his first name, Baldwinder, said during that news conference. Warren Key said they had notified the family about the deaths. We got information from the suspect. and going to keep that close to our chest at this point, but that suspect has, in fact, been talking to us. Warren Key said police had shown a surveillance video from outside the trucking company mm -hmm. showing a man whose face was obscured by a medical style mask leading away Jazz Deep and Aman Deep Singh, then Kahur and her police, Salaki and her daughter. Police were alerted to the crime after finding Amadeep Singh Black Amadeep Singh's black 2020 Dodge Ram pickup truck burning on the side of a county road. While investigating, sheriff's deputies were unable to reach the family and determined they had been abducted, leading them to the trucking business. Authorities took Salgado into custody after the family's ATM card was used at a nearby bank. A motive has yet to be determined, the sheriff said. So, um, you know, and then I like news break app because of the fact when you go into an article, it's similar articles. Not might not be the same article, with a, you know, on the same similar topic or whatnot. So, um, but yeah, so um, I just it caught my attention because we coming into the times where people are not going to care, and who's to say why that happened? You know, um, it could have been money involved. It could have been, you know, it, a number of things. We coming into the times where people um are in need, you know, and desperate, you know, and you know, it really caught my attention because. That's an eight-month-year-old baby, and they don't give a fuck, you know. Um, I was talking to a brother, and, um, you know, he was talking about how he, you know, just, you know, because certain brothers literally grew up in certain, you know, on on that side of the, of the street or on that side of the fence. You know, I'm familiar with certain things. You know, you got a two-third nigga that would be so heartless, he had, he would take a child, like, you know, and put them in a baby. I've I've, I've heard the stories and, you know. You know, seeing how, you know, Jake, Jake is, is Jake could be very wicked and, 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 you know, it's wicked to the point that he taught the wicked his ways. But Esau is just evil, you know, what I mean? you know, not to digress, you know, it's just, yeah. Um, and with the times coming, you're going to have more and more um, violence, you know, and that's the whole point of this video. So that's why I came out with that scripture in Second Ezra. And the scriptures tell you because... Um, you know, it actually reads in um, Second Timothy chapter. What's that? Salakia. Second Timothy chapter three. I'm beginning at verse one, and it reads: "This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous. So you know, men will be greedy of gain. You know, they'll be lovers of their own selves. You see that all day. You know." You got this era of hip hop where these jakes, you know, they dance with their money, they kiss their money. You know, I remember that guy, Black Youngster, when they um, basically stopped him from taking his money out of his own account. And he was petting the money. You know, they took half and let him keep half, which to me, that was like a sign. You know what I mean? First, that's your money, supposedly, because it's in your account. But some kind of way, the bank, the police stopped him and said something about his money. And then um, they let him keep half the money, but took the other half. You know what I mean? <laughs> and motherfuckers think they free here. Uh, so it says covetous, bolsters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Unholy meaning um, holy meaning being separate, but you know, these people are joined onto the world. That's what scripture talks about. Love not the world or, or the things that are in the world. You know, it's talking about proud. You know, it just read proud. You know, you got that guy Noah Har Harari, um, I might be butchering his name, but fuck that, you know, that A B C D you know, anyway, uh, you know, he's so proud. He say we we have surpassed the most high. And the Lord put that spirit on that devil. So I, I could just only imagine what this man's or, you know, is he I don't know what he considers. So he married to a man. So he might be the the feminine man. I don't you know, feminine uh, counterpart to that relationship or situation. But, um, you know. I wonder what his fate is, but the scriptures say, "Wonder, don't wonder about um, how the um, wicked shall be judged, but more so um, focus on um, how the righteous shall be saved." Roughly paraphrased. 
I know I butchered that, Salakia. Verse 3, without natural affection, and that's what I wanted. You know, these people are going to not have any affection for one another. And that's why, you know, literally they can just kill a child with, without any hesitation. You know, and even in the movie Scarface, which is based on something true. You know, um, I forgot the name of the documentary, but it went into a guy and um, it was a female. She was a, a big time dope dealer. I, can't, I think they called her the, um, the, um, the Black Widow or I think she was called the Black Widow, you know. And um, long story short, she, she um, had a hit man and, you know, he basically would kill, you know, he was killing everything for her, but he wouldn't kill women or children. And that's why they put that scene in Scarface. I'm, if, I don't know if I'm going to have the time to go look it up and, you know, um, you can check it out yourself. I think her name was like the Black Widow, though, or something. Um, I think it's called Cocaine Cowboys, if, if I'm not mistaken, the name of the documentary. But it says, um, without natural affection. And that's why, you know, you're going to come in times where people are not going to give a fuck about you. The people ain't even going to give a fuck about their loved ones when it come down to time they're eating. You know what I mean? If the scriptures talk about how, <laughs> you know, people that make packs. You know, you know, Jake's so fucked up. Jake could sell um, his own. I mean, I, I've seen and heard, you know, Jake so fucked up. They selling their own mother and family poison. You know, that's how fucked up and how low and how broken um, Jake is, you know. And that's why we need deliverance. That's why we need Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And if you don't believe that, then you, you know, these goofy ass, two third ass niggas, even if they got something in the society, really don't understand how destroyed of a people we are. A no people, pretty much. You know, you got a few scattered. And that's a, 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 a brilliant way Esau did it. You know what I mean? Because a motherfucker that got something here don't want to lose what they got. You know what I mean? Yeah, they only give you so much or utilize what you can offer to help finance or make them more money. You got a million people. Puff Daddies and P. Diddies or whatever the fuck you want to call his name is. Well, weirdo ass nigga. You know, it's funny because uh, that chick that he was messing with, uh, she remarried or she married a guy and he made a song about her. I mean, about Puff Daddy. Called him a, a fag and everything, you know. <laughs> Not my words, that man words. What's her name? Cassidy, you know. Because uh, Puffy used to mess with Cassidy, but he she done got married and had a child. with a, He would look like an Edomite, but he might be a... I'd just say... He might be an Edomite because he, he, he into uh, country music and all that. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but not to digress. It says, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontent, fierce. You know, fierce going into violence. 434. Savage. That's the spirit. It says, um, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, and that do as thou will spirit. And that's going to destroy a lot of Jakes. Um, but scriptures talk about in the book of um, Ecclesiasticus, I think chapter 10, it talks about as the judge as the city is, so is the, or how, as the ruler of the, as the ruler of the city is, so is the people. So if the people, or if the rulers are violent or, um, perverted then of course that vibration is going to go throughout the populace you know um you know when it takes you time to think about it like with solomon when solomon was on his square when he was you know um doing the right thing you know the, the kingdom was flourishing when solomon started to go off that's when um you know um israel got to going off for real and it makes this all the sense that yahweh shah through the spirit was king solomon because basically but if um, Yahweh Shah came back and didn't see it in his carnation as Yahweh Shah, why did he have to save his the whole nation? Because he had the whole nation go off when he was Solomon, you know, which is deep, you know, and that, that might be too much meat, you know, I mean, for some individuals, you know, and I'm a babe in this truth, but, you know, I mean, it's certain, you know, revelations that some brothers, are, you know, some people can't even swallow the fact of reincarnation. <laughs> when everybody sit up there and say, you know, they believe in re, um, they believe in deja vu, though, you know. <laughs> uh, so, you know, like I brought out that Ecclesiastes chapter um, 10, you know, as the ruler of the city is, so are the people, you know, and that's why you're going to have violence because it reads in Micah chapter 6, verse 12, for the rich men thereof are full of violence. Who are the rich men? These bankers. These bankers make profits off of funding wars funding both sides they about to make profit off of this whole ukraine russia you know they america all this situation america's dead broke 
You know what I mean? So to cover this shit up, I can see them starting a war. And you literally hear the war hammers beating. <laughs> the war drums beating. You hear it, but you know, these people are so dead asleep. And that's why the scriptures talk about now it's high time to wake out of sleep. You know, for um two thirds of our people. But you know, all at the same time, the Lord already know two thirds aren't gonna wake up, and that's their judgment. First um Micah 6 and verse 12 for the rich men thereof are full of violence and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth it talks about in the book of psalms chapter 22 that um the um you know their words are smoother than butter you know the war was in their heart you know this devil uh uh you know how, how, how damn it's an apocrypha it talks about how uh if he if he need if he he if he have need of you you know he'll, he'll he'll deal with you if he have need of you roughly paraphrase uh so, uh, in the book of Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, you know it talks about um, verse. I'm gonna start at verse sixteen. Second Ezra, fifteen, and verse sixteen. For there shall be sedition among men, evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So they're not. You're gonna have the citizens, these individuals, especially these Edomites, not regarding what these other Edomites in positions of power tell them, because things are about to get hard, and you know, like. That, that next time if they try to do a lockdown, you probably have Edomites, you know, come in arms. And they already expecting and anticipating that. So violence again increasing on the earth. Verse 18, verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. So if they not going to um, regard that, if it's saying verse 16, the men are, are not going to, or these people are not going to regard what the kings or princes um are saying but they're not the kings of princes are not going to allow them to go into a city <laughs> it's going to be conflict verse 18 for because of their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid afraid salakia and man shall be afraid because it's going to be a lot of violence verse 19 is the point a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor man woman or child but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation you know, book of Ezekiel chapter 7 talks about how evil and only evil is come. It is come, roughly paraphrased. Evil going into Eve meaning time, ill meaning bad. Um, I'm going to end it with 2nd Ezra. 2nd Ezra chapter 16. I'm going to start at verse. Um, I'm going to start at verse 40. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle. And in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth because things are going to get so bad to the point people are going to have to actually move place to place you know um you know that's why we're in the 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 the, the, the grace period now learning to give up and sacrifice and go without you know what i mean you know when you go into um, fast and that is a good way to learn to go without you know what i mean you know and you know Scriptures talk about um, judge no man on how he keep the holy day, high holy days and whatnot, you know, because at the end of the day, it is all a rehearsal. But at the same time, you show your faith by doing these things. Verse 41, he that self let him be as he that fleeth away and he that buyeth as one that will that will lose. He that occupieth, he that occupieth merchandise as he that have no profit by it and he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. He that soweth as if he should not reap so also he that planted the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes so again you shouldn't be putting your focus and all your attention into this place because this place is going to be destroyed they that marry as they that shall get no children and they that marry not as the widowers and therefore they that labor labor in vain for strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods overthrow their houses and take their children captives for in captivity and famine shall they get children and that's violence verse 47 and they that occupy their merchandise with robbery the more they deck their cities their houses and their so like their possessions and their own persons verse 48 the more will i be angry with them for their sins saith the lord yahweh ba'ashim yahweh shai I'm going to skip verse 53. Let not the sinner say that he hath not sinned for Yahweh. By Hashem Yahusha shall burn coals of fire upon his head, which saith before the Lord Yahweh and his glory I have not sinned. Behold, the Lord knoweth all the works of, of men and their imaginations, their thoughts and their hearts, which spake but the word 
let the earth be made and it was made let the heaven be made and it was created skip into um verse 65 when and when your sins are brought forth ye shall I'm going to start at verse 64. 63, surely ye know of your inventions and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide their sin. Therefore hath the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushua, exactly searched out all your works, and he will put you all to shame. Verse 65, and when your sins are brought forth, ye shall be ashamed before men, and your own sins shall be your accusers in that day. Verse 66, what will ye do, or how will ye hide your sins before Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushua, and his angels? Behold, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai himself is the judge. Fear him. Leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. So shall Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. Verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. Verse 69. And they... That consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden under a foot. So those that choose to, like for instance, those that chose to take that jump shot, they literally, or they feel, you know, like those that were complying with the whole system, like a lot of the people in the medical industry, what happened? They complied and then end up, when it was turned on them that they had to take that jump shot, they end up having to lose their jobs. You know, you got pilots that literally took the jump shot and then end up being, um, What's the word? Um, you know, I was just listening to a video that the elder apostle um, Tahar put together and it was going into you had people that took it. It was a pilot. He took it and, it, and basically it fucked him up. And he attributed strictly to the, um, you know, the jump shot. Verse um, 69 and they, or I read that, verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushua. They shall be like madmen, spearing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha. So, you know, it's going to be a great persecution. Revelation 12 and 12 talks about, you know, um, double coming down with great wrath. And, you know, they're going to come in. The house. It's written. They're going to come into the houses and basically take things by force, violence. Uh, verse 71, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Verse 72, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Verse 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. So lucky. Then shall they be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. You know, I believe it's in Peter. It talks about um, the fiery trials, you know, because in this, this truth, you're going to go through things in regards to uh, tribulations, tests. You know, when you go into that jump shot, that was a test. When you go into that MOTB or the C hip, you know, that day uh, or that hour of temptation, it's lock it, Revelation chapter 3. That's a test. It's, you know, it's a trial. Verse 74 Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. So, you know, those that put their faith and their trust in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, you know, um, They'll be delivered, you know. Of course, if you are the elect, you know, everybody has their lot, but the elect, they're going to put their trust and faith in Yahweh Shem Yahushua. You know, you might have a, you know, a little extra food, you know, you know, but at the same time, don't put your trust in food. You might have something to keep, you know, because a man should know how to defend himself in his household. I heard the elder Yahshua would say that, and any man it is the truth. You know, that's why you got me and grow up learning how to box or, you know, even in high school, they teach you how to wrestle or something, you know. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that's not all. But to put your trust in those things yourself, it tells you in Jeremiah chapter 17, curse be the man that trusted in man. But it also says in that same chapter, blessed be the man that trusted in Yahweh Shem Yahusha. So, you know, those that are of the elect, they're going to trust wholeheartedly in 
Yahweh Bashim Yahweh because he's about to bring those evil days. So if you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of your power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you will be destroyed. With that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to call Elohim. La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Double honors to my apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, who teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but whom subscribe to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. So next time I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, Shalom. Shalom.